do a quick tutorial on how to solder uh, sp specifically wires together uh, for today. Um, really easy method someone showed me that I really dig. Uh, first we're going to need a soldering iron, some solder, some wire, some heat shrink, my overgrown hair dryer, heat shrink gun, and some electrical tape. Uh, I do believe that the Buck connectors are for rookies, so if you want to learn how to do a simple, easy wiring repair, stand by and check out this video. If we're going to solder a couple wires together, um, first thing you're going to do, normally I've already put a couple little cuts in the insulation here so I can strip them back, just for demonstration purposes here, make it a little bit faster. And after I strip them back, I like to twist them up a little bit, and in order to do two wires together, First you need to put some heat shrink on because when you get done with your repair you'll you'll want that. But what we're going to do is take these two wires and we're going to wrap them around each other. I pull back quite a bit of insulation to make them a little bit long to facilitate doing that. So I'm going to wrap your two wires together. And you should get something that looks like this right here. It's going to be a nice, flat, clean install. And what you want to do is you want to heat the wire. A lot of people like to heat solder and then try to drip solder on their project. This doesn't work real well. When you heat the wire and you get it just right here, when you touch the solder to it, it'll draw it into the joint here and make it a really nice, clean. And what you end up with is a really nice, clean solder joint. People, some people like to tin them and then lay them next to each other and then solder them. This is a lot easier method. I'll show you how to do that again. I'm going to pull the insulation off. Twist the wire. Same thing with this end. Pull the insulation off. Twist the wire. Like I said, I like to leave a little extra, a little extra wire there to work with. Makes it easier to, to do this, to wrap the two wires into each other. Very quick and simple. Once you get your wires wrapped, Get you a good soldering iron or solder gun. And heat that wire up. So you want to heat the wire. Don't heat the solder and drop it on there. It does not make a good connection. After your wire gets good and heated, should be able just to touch a solder to it and draw it right in the joint. And once again what you end up with is that right there. Nice clean and flat. You will not pull that apart after you get it in there. It draws it into the joint real nice. Then what you do is take your, your heat shrink that you already put on there, put it up over your joint, take your heat gun, And your end result is a very professional, very sturdy wiring job. Hey, if you like these tips, please like and subscribe to my videos. It's He Who Angers You or Ragman T. And uh, this has been the Angry Mechanic for the tech tip for the day. You guys have a good one.